Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear members of the Horasis Visions community, I would like to thank you for taking part in the Horasis Extraordinary Meeting today. It was a long day and the summit is still going on. We convened 1,000 speakers over more than 200 sessions. Many senior leaders from government and business from the US and elsewhere participated and proposed ideas on how to rebuild trust. And we discussed how to overcome the COVID pandemic and how to advance the recovery, envisioning and implementing novel business models, new political cooperation and deep social cohesion. I'm joined by Murat Zetnepesov, the chairman of Caspian Week. Caspian Week is acting as strategic partner of the event. Murat is originally from Turkmenistan and he's a leading entrepreneur from the Caspian region. I will call on him in a minute. Let me just share some observations, if I may, as we just listened to an enlightening closing plenary and a call for action. Ladies and gentlemen, convening at a historic moment in which resentment of globalization is boiling over worldwide, you delegates discuss means of restoring trust in the idea of sustainable globalization in the US and elsewhere, and to devise actionable plans for ensuring that the fruits of globalization are more evenly distributed. As Congresswoman Barbara Lee said in the opening, we require a new modus operandi that restores people trust and faith in the idea of globalization, and one that makes good on those premises. We need to unite global stakeholders to create innovative solutions in the face of COVID-induced turbulence. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my great pleasure to call on Murat Sidnipesov, Chairman Caspian Week. Murat, the floor is yours. Thank you, Frank. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like uh, really to congratulate you, Dr. Richter, for this amazing and exciting event which you organized. And uh, today we discuss so many topics and uh, I've had so many ideas. And uh, these are the cumulative efforts of more than 1,000 speakers. And I think uh, these efforts would really highlight and help to find solutions uh, for many problems which we are now facing. And uh, as we saw from the COVID-19 lessons, uh, the globalization process was almost stopped one year ago. And when the governments and companies and even people started to fight for the basic things like uh, medical equipment and masks. Uh, but now uh, this globalization movement is restarted, but restarted in the new reality. And this should never stop again. And I think all of us, we got this lesson. And the uh, COVID pandemic disrupted our normal pre-COVID life, but stimulated development uh, and implementation of the digital technologies. And the digital technologies, it, uh, it is now the progress. It means surprisingly, COVID pandemic, in my view, accelerated the progress. And now we got a distant education, distant work, virtual offices, distributed work, and, uh, uh, and other elements, and this is our new reality. And the mid-term mid and long-term, this should bring really inclu inclusivity and diversity. And uh, I believe that the main lesson which we got today, that we need global cooperation and join the force of international regional organizations, governments, businesses, and people, first, to overcome the consequences of the COVID pandemic and to be prepared for the future.